Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so this is kind of a follow-up to two videos I did on RAM and uh, also to answer viewer questions. Uh, this will save me time in the future instead of retyping out uh, a you know, long paragraph in YouTube, I can just point you to this video. So uh, title of this video, Z490 versus H410, H470, and B460. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about RAM speeds, what I have discovered. Uh, I am in no shape a expert on this RAM, but, uh, you know, having had 10 motherboards, and uh, I don't have, you know, ungodly amounts of RAM here, but uh, I'm going to give you some feedback from what I've seen, what I've learned, and uh, hopefully you guys will uh, follow and, and what I say makes sense to you all. So, Let's get started. All right, we've got these different processors, and uh, I've bought quite a few of them. So I have the G5900. And what you'll notice when you go to Intel site, um, it tells you memory type 2666 here. Okay, so this this might come in useful later. Pentium also 2666. I3 2666. i5 2666 when we get to the i7 10700 which i have ddr4 2933 i7 10700k 2933 i9 2933 okay so where does that factor in we'll get to that in a moment now if we look at uh some different motherboards uh in particular this is just you know ASUS C490 series, you'll see all this, you know, wonderful advertising stuff in here, and eventually they start to talk about RAM, and you go, wow, look at this RAM, 4600 megahertz, okay? And keep in mind, once again, this is a Z490 motherboard, okay? Let's go over to ASUS Prime B460 Plus, which yours truly has. Um, not sure I recommend this motherboard, but uh, it's another story. You see in here a little comment about 2933. And none, no real big details about or something about RAM here. Um, hmm. oh, there's something about RAM. What does it say? Gee, nothing. You don't see anything big, speeds, nothing. Highly disappointing. Um, but we did miss one thing here. This little comment, DDR4, 2933, 2800, 2666, 2400, 2133. Now, obviously, you can buy RAM in these speeds, and, and in some of these, you know, it's pretty much like, what, the base speed, um, and then they can be overclocked to some ridiculous value but uh that is you know kind of what you see standard for any of the h410s h470s b460s you're not going to see anything reporting uh high ram speeds all right now let's go over to a motherboard that i have the asrock z490 phantom gaming before we see here supports ddr4400 megahertz now, what was that other one? 4,600. So there's even a difference here. Um, this is one of the cheapest pieces of, um, yeah. Motherboard's okay. Uh, it works. That's all that matters, right? Now, 4,400 megahertz. Let's, uh, let's do something here. So you can do this, I believe, on just about any motherboard site. Go down here and click on support. And there's all kinds of cool stuff here. If you watch my BIOS update videos, I'm in here a lot. Memory QVL. Boom. Look at that. RAM speeds. I don't see the 4400 megahertz one. I can click on this. And that gives me, there it is. That gives me the fastest ones. All right. So 4400 here. Over here. Um, supported speed. This is the important thing you want to see, folks. What is the supported speed? Okay. Now, you may see some discrepancies between RAM speed and supported speed. Uh, and it might be, yeah, there it is. So 
even if you buy this awesome speed, you may not get that speed. And I'll show you one example later on. And I'm going to talk to you about another example. Um, so what do we got here? 3,800, this one. You see that's 3,800, and this guy is 3,733. Uh, for whatever reason, it does not put out the, uh, the value that's on there, okay? Uh, and that's happened to me, too, so kind of definitely has happened with this motherboard. Now, what else do we want to look at, folks? So that's a Z490. What does the H470 tell you? Supports DDR42933. And if I click on support, memory QVL. Oh, by the way, you can also find out what CPUs it supports, which is all 10th gen. Now we'll click on this again over here. So somewhere in here is the RAM I have, um, 3600. I never see anything faster than 2933. So that is your supported speed, okay? And depending on your CPU, uh, that speed could end up even less. All right, so and you see 3,000, 2,933, 2,666, blah, blah, blah. And so uh, this value is always going to be greater than that, or they can be equal. Um, so let's go back to my uh, videos, folks. So here's an example that I did. On a Z490 motherboard with an i5-10400, will 3,000 megahertz RAM run at 3000 megahertz or 2666. How about neither? Okay, so let's uh, fast forward a little bit. Now you can do this on your computer. Control Alt Delete. I'm going to blow this up a second. Um, there's the actual speed I got 2999, so ever so slightly less. Okay, and that's not uncommon, but this is a Z490. So you expect to get the higher speeds, which uh, which I did. Another video I did, i7-10700, okay. What's the max speed of my XPG 3200 megahertz RAM? We'll run at my Asus B46, B460 motherboard, okay. So from what we read, 10700 supports 2933. The max speed of a B460 is 2933. And in actuality, that's what I got, 2933. Now, one example that I can think of that I did just recently, um, let's see, it was the Gigabyte B460 DS3H i5-10400. I had uh, 3,000 megahertz RAM or 3,200. It ran at 2,700, So, um, which was kind of odd. I believe when I had the i7 in there, I got... I got 2933, but uh, the i5 uh, did not drop all the way down to 2666, but it did not give me 2933. So a lot of fishy things out there, folks, and, uh, you know, that's just kind of the way this, this tension is. So, hey, I hope this helped.